Another function of the app that I'll explain is the PSI for GPM. And again, this is one that might seem a little bit strange when you just look at the title. What this, this part of the app is designed to do is help you find the exact pressure for a nozzle if the, flow rate, the exact flow rate you need to find is not listed in your catalog page. So just for an example, let's say I needed a flow rate of 0.44 gallons per minute. If I go back to my Turbo T-Jet catalog page again, and I'm looking through this flow rate column page, I'm not, I don't ever see that exact flow rate of 0.44 gallons per minute. What I do see though is that if I look at that TT-11004, when I operate it at 40 PSI, I have a flow rate of 0.4 gallons per minute. When I operate it at 50 PSI, it's going to give me a flow rate of 0.45 gallons per minute. So I know the required flow rate I need, 0.44 gallons per minute, is going to be somewhere between 40 and 50 PSI, but I want to know the exact pressure. So I would come to this app and I would enter in known GPM, and known GPM can be any of the gallon per minute flow rates taken directly from that table. And again, I've touched on it, it tells me the definition. Well, I know that it puts out 0.4 gallons per minute. The known PSI is the pressure at which the known GPM is achieved. So for this nozzle, I achieve 0.4 gallons per minute at a pressure of 40 PSI. So these two match up from the table, and I could have used any of the values from that, that 04 tip. I just chose the 40 PSI. And at 40 PSI, that nozzle outputs 0.4 gallon per minute. The one I'm going to enter in next is the desired GPM. So I know I needed a flow rate of 0.44 gallons per minute. And so the app automatically calculates then that in order to achieve a flow rate of 0.44 gallons per minute with this nozzle, I'll need to operate it at 48 PSI. So I would choose the TT11004 and operate it at 48 PSI in order to achieve the flow rate of 0.44 gallons per minute. This load function here allows me to load if I wanted to load one of my previously saved results. I, instead of entering all this information and I can just load the desired GPM from my, any of my earlier saved applications.